Hello, Jeroen. Go. Yes, very great to have you here. Um, it would be very nice to know what you thought of Stockholm World Water Week this year. We had such a great team. <laughs> With Martov and Thomas and Rihanna and everyone. Yeah. No, serious. Um, it was it was good. It was uh, a bit like usual. And usually yeah. it's good because everyone is here. It's very efficient to meet everyone and make long-term plans and uh, do short-term actions. Uh, but as often, I hardly had any time left to visit the sessions yeah. and the one that I visit then the déjà vu feeling came up several times okay and how was that with the session that we co-organized as ACFO great presentation of uh, Rick Johnson from uh, uh, GMP great presentation from uh, Thomas really was new insight people were really uh, enthusiastic about that yeah and it was an animated session, full room, people standing outside in the hallway uh, to take part, but would not allow in. So, uh, yeah, no, outstanding session. Good. Um, we also launched a new tool, Akvo Lumen, this year. Uh, what do you think uh, was the reaction of the partners? How did they like it? You had uh, two reactions, basically. One reaction was, oh yeah, we have that too, kind of thing, and then apparently only after they go through it and, and we showed it what all these capabilities are, then they start scratching behind their ear and say, wow, no, this is quite a thing. And the other reaction was, wow, this is what I need now. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear, sounds positive. Um, as every year, we also organized a, a reception at the embassy. Um, what is the use of this reception and why do we keep on organizing it? What is the use of this reception? Well, no, the reception is to see people, to invite guests, to have really the time to interact with them, but also to network of our partners with their partners. So all uh, organizing partners, they have invited uh, 30 uh, people and that's also interesting to see how they interact. So it's always a very animated session. Thomas with the big bell, if speeches were too long, he start ringing the bell and uh, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, good. Um, overall, how would you describe the week? How did it go and what was most interesting? Um, interesting for me, but that's only a very small part, was that for the first time, uh, people from Microsoft and uh, Facebook were here to see what happened in, in this this type of sector. And then, if you start thinking, then and and with 15 years of uh, Stockholm Water Weeks behind me, then you realize suddenly that this sector is not that much different than the hotel sector five years ago or the taxi branch. They also thought that they could comfortably lean behind and suddenly there was that there's a disruptive disruption from outside based on basically tech platforms yeah and i realized fully that this is starting to happen in the water sector and not in 10 years but within five years and then we will awake as a shock because the ecosystem we have here nourished also in Stockholm Water Week with the government and the donors and the political correct uh, development aid and the UN organizations and the NGOs uh, all thinking in terms of programs and budget instead of uh, sustainable change that all will go ch uh, that all will, will, will change yeah. and I realized that that that's going to happen yeah. and I think what we tried in 10 years that was great, but if you see how little actually has been picked up by other partners, there's always a discussion about price, and always never people see the full possibilities of technology. Yeah. So, so yeah, big feelings. Yeah. So that sounds like a a good takeaway message that we can uh, implement in the future of Akvo. Uh, thank you, Jeroen. Thank you for your reflection on the week and uh, see you next year. Okay, I'm heading home. <laughs> Bye.